G'day ladies and gents, welcome to Xresart. In this demonstration I show you how I use bristle brushes with pan pastels throughout this project. I also use soft tool sponges. I take this project to about 90% of the way with pan pastels and pastel pencils for those special details when I want certain areas to pop. This is a summary of a project on my Patreon channel and the step-by-step real-time for this project was conducted just over nine hours. I will leave all the links and the details in the description box below. The art supplies I use are pan pastels, pastel pencils, soft tool sponges, bristle brushes and 30 by 40 centimeter pastel mat. I used dark green here, but you can use any shade um, you have on hand. I also use uh, use a uh, or use a, a needleable eraser to erase for those times when I wanted to remove uh, pastels, of which I will elaborate in a little bit. Also use glassine paper to protect my piece with uh, from any smudges or oil uh, from my hands getting on the surface while I paint. I also uh, use masking film to protect areas which prevent halos as you will see further in this demonstration. The Needable Eraser So I would like to emphasize the power of the Needable Eraser and what it can actually do. I initially started painting in a field and a path heading towards the center background. However, midway during uh, my painting process I felt it wasn't working quite like I imagined it, so I eliminated it altogether and decided I wanted the elephant to look ghost-like. Uh, so this is where the needable eraser came into play. I was able to pick up the majority of the pastel, not all, but the majority, uh, all the while being really careful not to damage the tooth. I just kept on dabbing and pressing very, very gently until I was happy with the amount of pastel that I was able to lift. I then covered the erased area with phthalo blue extra dark mixed in with a bit of black and achieved the mysterious mood-like effect that I was looking for. And of course, it goes, it doesn't go without saying the ability to mix pan pastel colors to make new colors is so easy. I use a spare piece of paper, pick up the pigment uh, from the pan with the brush, mix and then apply, uh, apply on the surface area. As mentioned previously with the techniques I've developed over time, uh, over the years as well, I use mostly pan pastels and add pastel pencils here and there where I think it's needed. If you're looking for something different to paint and would like to learn about the techniques and tips and tricks I teach, become a patron where we meet weekly um, or and you can also uh, view these tutorials at your leisure. My name is Chrissy. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, keep on keeping on.